Is Sui going to the price of $20 as ridiculous as what some people may say? Much like my haircut, which I just shaved. Well, to some people it is, but to me it's not. Because I do believe that Sui is that special. And of course, that's all financial advice. But during the peak of this bull run, $20, I don't see why not. Especially when I consider how Sui is one of the best layer 1 blockchains out there. And it actually has the stats to back it up. If we take a look at this. Transactions per second is around 297,000. God, I, I mean, are you kidding me? But it doesn't end there. The time to finality is around 400 milliseconds. You know, that's very impressive. By the way, these statistics means that, you know, the time to finality for SUI is allegedly faster on average than Solana, Avalanche, and even Ethereum as well. Now, Ethereum, who really cares about that? It's a very caca layer one blockchain in my opinion which i'm going to get to a little bit later on the video but you get my point right sui is that special kind of underrated as of right now people they really love avalanche solana you know a lot of these top blockchains they love it that have already popped off but when it comes to sui man it's waiting in the wings because i think it's the dark horse of layer one blockchain very underrated when you compare it to the premier layer one blockchains that everyone knows of this is still relatively underrated which is why again i think it's the dark horse I think it has so much potential, especially when I consider just how incredible it is. And let's not forget, right? Currently, companies like Alibaba Cloud, and yeah, you heard that right. Alibaba Cloud, I'm talking about hashtag Jack Ma. But yeah, besides that point, and even Oracle Red Bull Racing, God, I owe, are building on Sui. So that's very impressive, or should I say build on Sui? This is how incredible Sui is, in my opinion, amazing adoption as of right now. Statistics, A+, doesn't lose out to the top layer 1 blockchains out there. And, man, fundamentals are really fantastic as well. And you got to think about this, right? Sui, it's actually primed for enterprise adoption. Unlike many layer 1 blockchains out there that aren't even primed for enterprise adoption. They just don't have the capabilities. You know, they were built from the ground up to be focused on the retail market, which isn't bad. But you got to think about this, right? Historically, what fostered the growth of the internet? It was enterprise adoption. Yeah, sure, the retail market, it did help. But when enterprises fully started to adopt the internet, that was when the internet just truly popped off. You know, history doesn't always repeat itself, but it tends to rhyme. And enterprises, they have the capital, they have the volume, and they have the resources to facilitate growth at such an insane scale. So I think that in the world of blockchains, it's going to be no different. I think that the projects that are focused on enterprise adoption, much like Sui, are the ones that could experience such amazing success in the future. And you got to ask yourself this question, right? Which layer one blockchain has better potential to be adopted by enterprises? Is it something kaka like Ethereum? Or is it something as amazing as Sui? I think hands down it's Sui because you take a look at Ethereum. Why do I keep saying it's kaka? First of all, gas fees, they're sky high. I mean, it's crazy, right? If, let's say, someone wants to send their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma some ETH to buy a used G-string and Broadworth extender slash vibrator, Lee the Captain Edition, can you imagine the gas fees they're going to have to pay for that? God, I... But is that an issue on Sui? I think not. Also, Ethereum, it's arguably not even scalable, which is... Pretty caca, in my opinion, especially when you consider how we're in 2024. I mean, come on, Ethereum. We're not in 2018, right? In 2018. Okay, yeah, sure, we could get away with some nonsense. But in 2024, there are just too many good competitors out there. You know, an enterprise, it's not going to look for a blockchain with the most hype, with the most fans. They're not going to look for that. They're going to look for something that's best suited for them. And again, that's something like Sui, in my opinion which is highly scalable, unlike Ethereum, and gas fees are not complete nonsense. So when you think about it, Sui, fundamentally, when it comes to the meat and potatoes, it's just a lot better than something like Ethereum. I mean, Ethereum, the ecosystem is massive. Yeah, sure, I understand that. But again, right, fundamentally, it's not that good. You know, you see a lot of layer twos out there having to be, you know, created essentially to combat the nonsense with Ethereum. You know, layer twos like Optimism, like Arbitrum, Immutable, Myria, they have to exist, right, to quite essentially allow Ethereum to be enjoyed without having to deal with any of the type of nonsense. But you don't see any of that type of stuff with Sui. You know, Sui doesn't need a layer two, in my opinion, right? It doesn't need to have a project that's going to 
allow it to be enjoyed, but not having to deal with any of the type of nonsense because it doesn't have any nonsense. That's how amazing Sui is. I think it's the new and approved Layer 1 blockchain, in my opinion. Ethereum, it's like a Nokia phone from the early 2000s. It's like, dude, no one cares that your Nokia phone in this day and age has a 6.9 megapixel camera. Dude, who cares about that? You could flex about that in the early 2000s. Yo, man, look at my Nokia. 6.9 megapixels. God, I boha. No one cares about that kaka camera, dude. Nowadays, we're caring about that Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. We're taking a look at the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We care about that type of Nokia nonsense. But yeah, you get my point. And keep in mind, Sui at the price of $20 really isn't all that crazy. At that point, market cap would be around $26 billion, which isn't all that insane, right? We've seen Ethereum go to around $560 billion in market cap at one point back in 2021. So this is very minuscule in the grand scheme of things. And also, we've seen BNB go to around over $100 billion back in 2021. We're even seeing Solana as of right now you know, around 60 billion market cap. So this isn't really all that insane, but it's going to take some time because historically speaking, the altcoin season, it does usually reach its peak either six to 18 months, in some cases after a Bitcoin halving event. And as we all know, right, the Bitcoin halving event, keep in mind, if we take a look at this on coin market cap, we will see that it's actually happening in just a number of hours, which is crazy. But again, yeah, so it's expected to happen this month, keep in mind. So either 6 to 18 months after this April, we're potentially taking a look at either October or even October of next year. God, I, for altcoins to really showcase what they're capable of. Now, keep in mind, each altcoin, it's going to move at its own pace, its own speed, so to speak. So they're not all going to peak at the same time. But again, right, there is a range. So when people say, wow, why isn't Sui, you know, reaching 26 billion in market cap? You know, why isn't it reaching $20 tomorrow or today or whatever, yesterday? It's like, dude, that's historically not how it works. Yeah, sure, some altcoins, they've kind of peaked, in my opinion, already. But historically, this is just the beginning for a lot of altcoins out there. And I think the same applies for Sui. I think the best days are still ahead. And why would it not, right? More enterprise adoption as of right now than ever before. More institutional investors than ever before. And even, according to Crypto.com Research, more crypto owners than ever before as well. Nearly 600 million around the world, which is crazy, right? That's over half a billion. But yeah, you get my point. When there's this much good, positive action going on right now, you know, with the investors, with the amount of crypto owners, and also on top of that, when I consider the fact that Sui is one of the best lay one blockchains out there, really the sky's the limit, $20 during the peak of this bull run, I don't see why not. And of course, I'm dollar cost averaging. Anytime I earn income, I put aside some for my favorite projects, which of course include Sui. And I don't day trade, I don't swing trade, I don't use leverage, I don't do any of that type of nonsense whatsoever. All I do is that I acquire, I hold, and I just wait for the peak of the bull run. That's it. I like to keep things simple, much like my haircut. Just shave that thing down because who wants to go to the barber shop and then have to talk, you know, 20 minutes with the person who's cutting your hair and then they're like, oh yeah, you know what? Today, I decided to buy some groceries for my baby mama. Oh, wow. Today, you know, my girlfriend's boyfriend's grad. It's like, dude, no one cares about that, man. I just want to get a haircut. That's why I just cut my own hair. I like to keep things simple. God, I, I'm extremely bullish on Sui. $20. I don't see why not. I think it's that fantastic during the peak of this bull run. And make sure to subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. It's been Lee the Captain. And also check out this very fantastic video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.